Hello there, my beautiful YouTube family and friends. I hope you all are well and having a fantastic day. Welcome each one of you to Nanabe's Kitchen. Today we are making stir fry. Yes, I love stir fries because they are easy, they are quick, they are tasty, they are nutritious. They are everything you want in a dish, especially for your family and loved ones. Today we are making chicken and vegetable stir fry. Quick and easy. So this recipe is inspired by my recent pepper steak recipe, in which most of you asked, can we substitute the steak with chicken? Well, here is that recipe. Let's begin, but first, let's wash our hands. But let's talk about the ingredients really quickly. First ingredient on the list is eight chicken thighs, skinned and deboned with the fat also trimmed off. We will also need one green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, one large onion, ginger about the size of your thumb, three garlic cloves. Next ingredient is two thirds a cup of homemade chicken broth and that recipe is linked below. One heaping tablespoon of cornstarch, one teaspoon of honey, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. This is homemade, but you can substitute with one chicken bouillon cube and a quarter teaspoon of crushed black pepper. We will also be needing some salt to season as needed. Next step is to prep our vegetables. Let's get that out of the way. And here is the ginger, which will bring us earthy notes that are very important in this dish. There are very few ingredients here, so you want to use ingredients that enhance the flavor of your vegetables, and ginger really helps with that. So I mince them finely as you see, and I give the same treatment to the garlic. It is time to prep the chicken. Everything is moving along smoothly and swiftly. It is already time to marinate the chicken. Let's do that. Here is my favorite part, friends and family, layering the flavors on the chicken we are nearing cooking. So I'm adding half of the minced ginger and garlic. The ginger is going to give us those earthy tones we need in here. And I'm also adding the crushed black pepper right now, followed by the all-purpose seasoning, which is similar to your chicken bouillon. So you can use one cube of that. I'm using half of it and reserving the rest to season the vegetables. Then add the entire amount of soy sauce, followed by the honey. The honey is going to create that glaze-like effect 
effect and give the chicken that glossiness that's just to die for. I'm also adding the oil, which will play a role in that as well. We only use half of the oil. We'll use the rest to actually cook the chicken and the vegetables. Now here's a cornstarch, which I'm going to use half of it to marinate the chicken and to create a crust on the chicken when we cook it. And then the rest we'll reserve to create the slurry, which will become the sauce around that chicken. It's looking beautiful. So you want to massage everything into the chicken, set it aside for about 10 minutes while it's marinating. You're going to now create the slurry, which is a combination of the chicken broth and the rest of the cornstarch. Whisk together to combine evenly and your slurry is ready. It is crunch time, beautiful people. We are ready to cook on high heat throughout. So everything is going to happen really fast. High heat is important because that's how we're going to lock in those juices in the chicken, create that glaze-like effect on it, and also keep the crunch in those vegetables. Cook in three batches. Pour one batch of the chicken in there, spread them out, and let it cook for about two minutes. Flip, cook for another two minutes, and voila, you're done. Looking good, looking good. Look at that last batch. Do you see that glossiness and also a little bit of that char and caramelized sugars from the honey? The chicken is so juicy and tender. It's perfect. We're cooking the vegetables now. So the rest of the minced garlic and ginger go into the rest of the oil in the wok. Add the rest of your all-purpose seasoning or chicken bouillon, some salt, Crushed black pepper, a little more oil if you need it. Stir that together and cook under a minute just to help those flavors and aromas to begin coming through. Cook under a minute and add the vegetables. Cook under one minute again to keep those vegetables crunchy. Still on high heat, very important. Ginger and garlic are must-haves when you're cooking a stir fry like this, especially on your vegetables. Now we just added the slurry and it should immediately thicken. Now the chicken gets added, holy matrimony, and just take a look at those crunchy vegetables, their colors. This is such a stunning dish. Easy to cook, few ingredients, and the flavors are definitely there. That bite or the sharpness from the garlic is now mild tones the earthiness of the ginger is coming through beautifully enhancing the flavors of those crunchy vegetables everything is just perfect and fresh the chicken is tender it is crusty and it is also juicy Oh, and the content of this wok is definitely screaming umami. Umami like you've never had before. You ought to try this recipe. We're serving it today with some basmati rice cooked with a little bit of butter and some turmeric as well as some of the homemade all-purpose seasoning, same as your bouillons. Definitely a must try. It is already time to chow down. The whole process under 30 minutes. Your family's appreciation for you, priceless. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. Your girl needs that. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is chop time. Pull up a chair. We are all friends here. I hope to see you again pretty soon on my next one. Make it a great day and have fun.
fun, especially in that kitchen. Bye.